Welcome to C video tutorial. In this video, I am going to deal with a topic that is a conditional operators in C. In the last class, I have explained you the logical operators in C. So, coming to the conditional operators. So, what are these conditional operators? This conditional operators returns one value if the condition is true and the returns the other value if the condition is false and it is also called as ternary operator. So, you hope you did not understand by looking at this statement, but I will explain you in detail by giving the syntax so that you will come to know better. Syntax. So, what is the syntax? The condition followed by the question mark and true value and the followed by the colon and false value. This is the condition for uh, writing the conditional operators in C. So, that is a sorry syntax. There is a condition it may be any condition. Next, it is followed by the true value, colon, false value. The meaning is that, see, the conditional operators returns one value if the condition is true. Suppose this condition is true, it will return this true value. Okay. Suppose if the condition is false, it will return this after the colon, what is the value will be there, no? that value will get executed. It is a false value. I will give one example that is a say that um, suppose I will give 7 equal to equal to 5 that is a strictly equal to 5 then question mark uh, let me say the true value is 6 huh? by the colon and the Okay. Okay. This is the condition what we are going to give here. That is a 7 strictly equal to 5 and the question mark followed by the 6. That is a true value and this is a false value. First, we will check for the condition 7 strictly equal to 5. Is it uh, equal to 5? No, it is a false condition. So, if the false condition is true, then false value get executed, the 5 value get executed. In the same way, if I give 5 greater than 3, that is a test condition, question mark followed by A colon b. In this case, the 5 greater than 3 is a true value. So, the a, it will return the value as a. So, this is a conditional operators in C. Hope you understand this, what is meant by conditional operators. Okay. Let me explain the program example so that you will uh, come to know better. Hash include std io dot h main follow by let me say three variable a comma b comma c and uh, a let me say x to the value is five b equal to 7 equal to 7 and uh, c where the result have to be stored c equal to let me say the condition a uh, greater than b okay followed by this uh, there is a question mark after that it is a true value and the false value after the colon. 
ended with a semicolon. Let me print this statement. That is printf the value is our result is percentage d comma c get ch function so what does it do means it will check for the condition a is greater than b a is greater than b no it's a false condition the result what b have to be written so the b value is a 7 the 7 have to return the value let me execute this is a conditional operator no errors are found value is 7 why i have told you that is a where it will return the uh, false value that is a b b holds a value 7 7 will be stored in c okay the value will show as a 7 okay. let me give the correct value that is a, we will invert this 7 say this is 5 okay now you should return the value say a Oh, let me give 9 okay 9 greater than 5 it will return the value has which one a because it is a true condition a greater than b is a true condition so it have to return the true value true value in the sense a a holds a value 9 so uh, c will be stored the value has a 9 so let me execute Yeah, the value is 9. Hope you understand these conditional operators. How does we use in our program? Okay, I will explain you the next operators that is increment, decrement operators in the next video. Until then, bye. Have a nice time.